Hello! During this video, I will show you DB4O's MapMe sample application for Android. MapMe basically displays 2D maps on Google Android, but also adds additional features such as interaction with Android's GPS device, for tracking the GPS position, saving routes, etc., the storage of location bookmarks, including search capabilities using DB4O, and, in a future version, a system for allowing your friends to watch your location and vice versa. So, let's first take a look at the MapMe application running, so you know what we are talking about. You might be familiar with Google Maps already, so this is exactly what this is. This is Google Maps on Android. Let's now take a look at the features included in MapMe, starting by the Zoom functionality. We are zooming in into the V4O's San Mateo based headquarters now. Now let's toggle to satellite view. Now let's check the traffic. MapMe also allows you to search for locations on the map. Let's find the Computer History Museum. Now we can save the location. by entering a name and maybe a description. Now let's take a look at my saved bookmarks. If we click on an entry we can edit the bookmark information. And note that we can also jump to a previously stored location. Now let's try to remove a bookmark. And now let's count the number of entries. The good thing is that with DB4O, the source code that achieves persistence is below 80 lines of code. All persistence code resides on the DB4O helper class, which basically stores and retrieves map bookmark objects. These bookmark objects store specific location information, such as name, description, latitude, longitude, zoom level, and satellite and traffic flags. The rest of the code is just getters and setters. Now let's take a look at the DB4O helper class.
As usual, we work with an object container, which is our db 4 database for all practical purposes. We also reference the context objects, which gives us limited access to the parent activity which uses the db 4 helper class. We use db 4 in process mode to open a local database file. The first parameter is a db 4 configuration object which we provide right here in the dbconfig method. Note that in this line we create an index by name. The second parameter for open file is a full path to the db 4 database file. Here we use the context to get the data directory for the parent activity. Otherwise, we won't be allowed to create a db 4 database file. To close the database, we just close the object container. The method setBookmark allows us to store a bookmark object. First we check if there is a pre-existing bookmark with the given name on the database and create a new bookmark if not. Then we fill in the location information retrieved from the map. Finally we just perform the set operation which stores the bookmark object. The getBookmark method allows us to retrieve a bookmark object from the database by name. We use Query by Example, which uses a prototype object to find the match on the database. In order to retrieve all the bookmarks, we use a soda query. First, we ask the database for a query object and then we constrain it to the map bookmark class. Note that we also configure the query to sort the results by name. Finally, we just execute the query. Once we retrieve the resulting object set from the getBookmark method, we can count the number of objects with the size method. Finally, we can remove a bookmark from the database by first using the getBookmark method to retrieve it by name and then using the delete method. I hope by now you've realized how easy it is to use db 4 on your Android applications. Just point your browsers to the following URLs and give it a try.